Well, good afternoon, Cowboys. My name is Tammy Lee. I'm the manager of production ag marketing for John Deere. I'm a graduate of OSU and also a donor to the new foundation. As an alumni, I am very excited to be here with you today for this historic event with so much of my OSU agricultural family. As we look to kind of that future of agriculture, I can't help but reminisce and think back about my time here at OSU and a lot of the decision points that kind of got me here to where I am today. See, I did not grow up in what you would consider production agriculture. It was a little bit more of an old McDonald's farm with a lot of horses on it. So my family loved agriculture. They loved the land. Um, we grew probably every fruit and vegetable that would grow within the state of Oklahoma. And my mom had a flower garden that would rival anything you would see at the Myriad Botanical Gardens. So for me, coming here to OSU and being involved with agriculture, it was just a natural fit. Once I got here, it was also very impressive to me that I was fortunate enough to have two associate deans that saw something in me that I didn't even really see in myself. So to Dr. Paul Hummer and the late Dr. Wes Hawley, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you for your support, your guidance, and your encouragement throughout my entire time here at OSU. Thank you very much. And now, after being involved with agriculture for all those years, and after almost 26 years now with John Deere, it is my honor and privilege to be here with you today to help launch the next generation of agricultural innovation for Oklahoma State. So, before we get down to business, I do wanna take just a moment and recognize some special guests that are here with us today. Uh, Deans Ken Eastman, Randy Kluver, and Carl Risco. <laughs> Vice Provost Cheryl Tucker. <laughs> OSU's Senior Vice President and General Counsel, Gary Clark. OSU's Vice President for Institutional Diversity, Dr. Jason Kirksey. <laughs> OSU's Vice President for Enrollment and Brand Management, Kyle Ray. <laughs> OSU Foundation President, Blair Atkinson. OSU's Athletic Director Designee, Chad Weiberg. And Athletic Director, Coach Mike Holder. OSU Alumni Association President, Rob McInturf. U.S. Congressman, Frank Lucas. Former OSU President Jim Halligan. <laughs> OSU's President Designee Dr. Casey Schrum. <laughs> First Cowgirl Ann Hargis. <laughs> and finally, President Burns Hargis. At this time, I'd like to ask President Byrne Hargis to the podium, please. Thank you, Tammy. I never thought I'd see Potts up here on the, on the stage of the McKnight Center. I'm, uh, Ross McKnight isn't here, is he? I hope not. Uh, <laughs> we might be in big trouble. Yeah, it is kind of weird having a groundbreaking and no ground, but we're going to I think this is very creative, so I applaud the uh, um, who, the producers, whoever did this. 
Well, this pandemic has slowed down a lot of things uh, over the past year, but uh, what it has not slowed down was the momentum, is the momentum for the new agricultural hall. This is a special facility that's gonna make a huge difference and I don't think any college has more dedicated alumni uh, than the Ferguson College of Agriculture. And I, uh, I just appreciate all the support you all have provided uh, to make this possible. You know, it was back in January of uh, 20, a year that normally would live in infamy, but uh, on that particular day, it lived in gl glory because Kayleen and Larry Ferguson announced their historic gift for this facility. And would they please stand up and let us thank them again for... And I think the Ferguson's gift and their commitment to feeding the world has inspired a lot of others. And I think uh, Dean Tom Kuhn inspired a lot of others. And we have actually now raised for this building $47 million. Now that's 86% of our goal. So if you do the math, we need another $7 million. So if you know anybody that's got it, let us know and we will uh, make the appeal. But this facility is gonna strengthen OSU's reputation, it's gonna strengthen our ability to innovate and really do what we should do as a land grant mission, which is to serve our state. So I appreciate everybody that's here today, and now I'd like to welcome Congressman Frank Lucas to the podium. Thank you, Mr. President, and I appreciate that introduction. This is an auspicious occasion. It is a wonderful day. All of us who had classes in what is still Ag Hall will always remember not just the professors and the lectures and the wonderful things that came from that, but there was a lot of deep philosophy burns discussed out on those steps out front. A lot of problems solved, a lot of agenda items set for the future. It's hard for me to believe, in my own case, that's almost been 40 years ago. But I must tell you, my friends, that the education that I received at Oklahoma State University, much of which in that old building, I look forward to going to events in the new building. And thank you to our friends for making that possible, making that possible. Because you see, in the United States Congress, in this session and for the last session and hopefully the next session, I have the responsibility of being the ranking member on the House Science, Space and Technology Committee where we focus on research, the future of this country and this world. A lot of Congress focuses on the next five minutes or the next 15 minutes. We worry about the next five years, the next 50 years, the next 250 years. But that's what this dedication is about. To take the mission from the Morrill Act of 1862, when President Lincoln signed the bill that created the land-grant university system that Oklahoma State is a proud part of. The university system that allowed for the first time in the history of the world, here in the United States of America, that people of ability and ambition and determination could secure a university education. And from that day to this, we build on that. You build on it, I build it with you uh, in Congress. So dedicating a new ag building, that's just a step in continuing the wondrous things that have happened at Oklahoma State since 1890 and the wondrous things that the land-grant university systems have created since 1862. Thank you for allowing me to be here today with you. Let's celebrate the future together. It's going to be wonderful, just like Oklahoma State. Thank you, Congressman Lucas, President Hargis, Tammy, 
it's uh, great to have you all here helping us with this celebration, and it's wonderful to have so many of you here as well, uh, both in, in present in the building and, and those who are watching on O-State TV. Um, I do want to recognize that we have several legislators who have joined us here today as well. Uh, Senator Tom Duggar here from Payne County, our, our local representatives, uh, Trish Ranson, John Talley, uh, uh, Kyle Hilbert, a little more distant, uh, but uh, certainly welcome here uh, back to his alma mater and, and Representative Ty Burns, Representative John Pfeiffer. It's great to have you all here. I believe Kirby Smith is here, Chief of Staff for Lieutenant Governor Matt Pinnell and, and also the President of our Ferguson College Alumni Association. And we have a number of other representatives from our congressional delegation. Uh, I believe Senator, Roger, <laughs> Senator uh, uh, Roland Peterson is here as well. Uh, missed uh, his name on the notes, but I believe he's here. I saw him out, outside anyway, and it's uh, great to have that kind of support. You're all welcome to here. We're, we're thrilled to have you joining us today. As Congressman Lucas said, uh, OSU's land grant mission, mission is deeply seated in agriculture and natural resources. I should add, Congressman, I've held up to the promise that I made the first time you visited me in my office. I have not gone back and reviewed your academic records, so you're safe, okay? <laughs> he, he asked for that. I didn't, I didn't say, I wonder. He said, I, don't go, don't go look there. Anyway, your, uh, your statement about the land-grant mission really is uh, something that's true to our, our heart. It's, it's a part of who we are. It really is the, the basis of our success and also the basis for the future of our programs that we hope will greatly impact not only this university and this state, but also uh, our nation and the world. We're especially pleased and proud uh, to share news that was released this week from the Times Higher Education Ranking of Universities that Oklahoma State University rated eighth in the nation and 85th in the world in addressing the full set of the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals. So we're, we're eighth in the, in the nation, 85th in the world. Even better, OSU ranked second in the nation and 10th in the world in addressing the second sustainable development goal of ending hunger by the year 2030. And we ranked third in the United States, 18th in the world in addressing the goal of ensuring clean water and sanitation for all people. The Ferguson family has connected OSU with their family's goal of helping to feed the world. And these rankings show that we're making progress. And with these new investments in our programs, represented by the New Frontiers Agricultural Hall, we're going to expand our impacts even further in helping to end world hunger. The three pillars of the land-grant mission in our Ferguson College of Agriculture are led by Dr. Cinda Clary, Associate Dean of the Ferguson College of Agriculture, Dr. Keith Owens, Associate Vice President for the Oklahoma Agricultural Experiment Station, and Dr. Damona Doy, our Associate Vice President for o OSU Extension. And I appreciate them being here joining us today. Uh, they also are investing in this project with uh, funds that they're responsible for. I appreciate that. This project will change and modernize our research and the way we teach scientific subjects and the way we engage students in their journey of growth and discovery. Research has the promise to change the way we grow food and care for the natural environment we rely on. It will transform Oklahoma's economy. It will foster innovation that will feed a growing world population. It also fuels the passion of the incredible people who make up the OSU agriculture family. Our faculty and staff have been deeply engaged in the planning process, and they are excited for the new opportunities this facility will create. I want to especially recognize and thank those faculty and staff who have been involved in the building design process, uh, led by Dr. Randy Raper, and assisted very ably by Diana Ward. Thank you for your engagement. I also want to extend a special thanks to the OSU Long Range Facility Planning staff who have been at our side every step of the way. 
Studio Architecture and their associates, PGAV Architects, they've, been, they've done such a great job of working with us and involving the faculty and the students in the planning process. And Flintco, who will be responsible for the construction process. They've been great partners in the entire project. Those faculty who've been involved, all of the faculty, would you please stand so we can recognize you uh, and appreciate your involvement. A few other people have been especially helpful to me through this process, and they include my wife, Rhonda Kuhn, who's been a great source. <laughs> She's the fundraiser. She's been a great source of counsel and support and makes my life more jo joyful than I ever expected it to be. I also want to thank our sons and their families, Robbie and his wife Emily and son Theo, and Charlie, his wife Bailey and Baker, because they've been great supporters and put up with my distraction at times from family matters. And finally, I want to thank President and Ann Hargis, who have been champions of this project from the beginning. Students have been a part of this project, and they are energized knowing the power of the cowboy family is behind them. I'd like to call your attention to the screen so that you can hear directly from our talented faculty, staff, and students and their thoughts about New Frontiers. Oklahoma State's land-grant mission is central to the legacy and identity of OSU agriculture. For generations, our goal has been to solve problems and leverage opportunities with scientific solutions to share with the world. Today, we are leaders in the agriculture and natural resources industries in Oklahoma, and our sense of discovery continues to push us and the university forward. Uh, I, I really think that our campus is at a very special place in its history. You look across the campus, I mean, from athletics to music, from engineering to business. Well, it's, it's agriculture's turn to step up and get on that stage where we need to be. I think the long-term impact of this facility will show that OSU is still a land-grant university, and that's very much our big mission. So I think it will encourage students here at Oklahoma State that when they come here, they're going to get those three parts of the land-grant university, which is teaching, research, and extension. I teach soil science, and I've seen the plan for the building. And I'm so excited that gone are the days when the, you know, the benches and the tables in the lab are bolted to the floor. In this new setup, we can actually move and rearrange the lab so that we can design exercises and courses according to what the students need for that particular class. The dairy bar is very exciting to me. I have heard so many stories from our alums who have wonderful memories about the dairy bar. I'm excited to be able to just walk by and see everyone coming together as a family I'm most excited for the Expanded Student Success Center. That's a resource that I've used a lot in college so far, and I think being able to have a bigger place to house that is just gonna give students the opportunity to be more successful. So the world right now is facing some enormous challenges, so things like food quality and food security, or wildlife conservation, or agriculture sustainability, climate change, they're so complex. Part of their complexity is that they expand across multiple disciplines, multiple aspects of science and social science. And this building will encourage faculty to work together, not just within our own departments, but across the college. And I think that that's essential to solve some of these problems. Let's be honest, new buildings necessarily don't uh, produce uh, new results. What produces new results is new thinking. I think that the right learning environment is fertile ground uh, for new thinking. And the right learning environment can take place in the classroom, it can take place in the laboratory. I really think this facility is that fertile ground for new thinking. The OSU Agriculture family continues to come together to support the New Frontiers campaign. 
which will create a new facility that will elevate our ability to innovate and collaborate in a way that produces a transformational impact on the world. Together, we will embark on new frontiers. Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> Truly inspiring. I know when I got my degree back in 1995, uh, the College of Ag had a strong reputation for excellence and was well respected. I feel with great certainty that that legacy will continue uh, for generations to come. And now, it is my privilege to introduce another distinguished alumni. The proud chair of the Oklahoma A&M Board of Regents, Rick Davis. Thank you very much, Tammy. Before I uh, say anything, I want to introduce my fellow regents that are here, and if you would, just please stand as I introduce your name. Calvin Anthony from Stillwater, Gerald Callahan from Oklahoma City, Jimmy Harrell from most of western Oklahoma, Leedy, Elk City, Secretary Arthur, Blaine Arthur, and also Vice Chair Trudy Milner. If you would, please give me, help me give them a round of applause. It is my privilege today on behalf of, of my fellow regents to, to be here on this exciting day and I am a proud alumnus and Dean Kuhn, no matter what you say about Congressman Lucas's academic prowess, I was a classmate of his and I want to verify that he was in class every time I went so I know he was there at least half the time. So. <laughs> Larry and Kay, we are so glad that you chose to be a part of OSU. And you know, I was sitting back there just now thinking that this day didn't begin the day that you decided to give the gift. It really began, as Dean Kuhn said, the day that you set forth the vision and the challenge of what you wanted this, this uh, college to be, and that was to feed the world. That's when it really began. And then that vision met your passion and the gift was the result of it. We are so grateful as an organization, as an institution, for your love and passion for OSU, and we're going to do our best to meet that challenge that you've given to us. And Kay, on a side note, many of you may not know, Kay also sacrificed a lot of time recently for us as she was a, a valued member of our search committee for OSU president. And we're very excited, uh, President Designee Casey, for, for the job that they did. And, and Kay, we thank you and Larry for allowing, being a part of, of that input also. And we're very grateful for the time you served on that. You know, it's, uh, my, the job that I was given today is really a fairly easy one. Everyone knows or has a memory, if, they, if you were at OSU prior to 2006, you're familiar with the dairy bar. Well, for whatever reason, they thought I was the appropriate person. I think they remember how many milkshakes I used to buy at the dairy bar. But they wanted me to uh, unveil the menu of the new dairy bar that's going to be a part of, of this uh, new deal. So I think we're going to have some help with that. If I've Here comes the... I'm excited to get to the menu. I'm not sure if they're going to share it on the screen or not, but I'm going to go through a little bit of it. And as I said, my favorite was always the milkshake. Now, that's, that's still on the deal. And, it, and what struck me, as you can see on the screen here, the, the menu really does encompass what Oklahoma State University Division of Agriculture is about because it, it is called the dairy bar. But when you get to reading down through there, you see almost every agriculture commodity that is produced or, or grown in Oklahoma is represented on there. Now, if you have the desire to have the milkshake along with the cinnamon roll that's, that's listed there, that certainly uh, can be done. But we encourage you as this new, and it, this was really uh, in particular to many of the donors as they begin to get input of what they wanted to see in the new ag hall. As it was mentioned earlier, the dairy bar just kept coming up. 
This is going to be on the first floor of the, of the new Ag Hall building or the new Ferguson College of Agriculture building. And we certainly welcome any of you to stop by and be a part of it. So go Pokes. Thank you, Regent Davis. At this time, I would like to invite our Cornerstone donors to join us in the hallway and prepare to come on the stage. So I am happy to share with our live audience that you won't have to wait until 2023 to enjoy some of the dairy bar treats. When we dismiss here in just a few moments, we will be serving a couple of the dairy bar menu items, including cinnamon rolls and the smokehouse melts. So the dairy bar is a great example of how Dr. Kuhn and the architects intentionally plan to create an environment where community thrives. And as a community, we invite you to keep tabs on the construction progress at osugiving.com forward slash new dash frontiers. The construction cameras will capture new images several times a day, so you'll be able to see in real time how the construction project is going along. On the site, you will also be able to see renderings of the project, read about our incredible donors, access the latest campaign news, and learn about ways that you can get involved. At this time, we'd like to welcome back Dr. Kuhn to the podium. Thank you, Tammy. I was so grateful you agreed to serve as our MC today. It's so good to have you back on campus. You've done a great job, hasn't she? For those of you who may not have caught it, Tammy is a major gift donor to our campaign. I've seen her name up there. It's always enjoyable to see successful alumni return and take part in activities here, uh, but it's an entirely different matter when you see so many alumni like Tammy invest in the vision of OSU agriculture. Now, speaking of which, I would be remiss if I let this event pass without celebrating the leadership of selfless donors who are committed to the future of OSU agriculture. You may hear us reference our cornerstone donors, and I want to provide some background on why we chose this term. In any building, the cornerstone determines the position and the strength of the entire structure and sets the direction of progress. When the cornerstone for Old Central was set in 1894, it established a new frontier for higher education in Oklahoma. Today, we will begin clearing the ground for a new cornerstone and a new frontier for OSU in the 21st century. Our cornerstone donors who have committed gifts of $1 million and greater have set the trajectory and the fast pace of this campaign. At this time, I'd like to recognize each of our cornerstone donors with OSU Foundation President Blair Atkinson and invite those of us with, uh, those with us today to join her and Pistol Pete in front of our stage as we call your name. I do want to take this moment off script to say how much I appreciate not only President Atkinson's leadership, but also her predecessor, President Jewell's leadership in helping us with this project. They've been great counsel along the way, and our team at the OSU Foundation has been tremendous to work with. So much energy that they have, led by Heidi Williams. Uh, I deeply appreciate the relationship that we have and the tremendous success that is attributable to their great work. Thank you. First, Larry and Kayleen Ferguson. Next, uh, John uh, Grondike from Enid. John's wife, Virginia, is not able to join us today. We appreciate having John here. Next, another from Enid, or the Enid, Enid area anyway, is Roxanne and Dr. Barry Pollard and the P&K Equipment Company.
They are joined in the, in the audience today here by colleagues Scott Eisenhower, Preston Pollard, Barrett Pollard, and Drew Combs. Thank you. Next is Kay Ingersoll from Inola. Frank Robson from Claremore. <laughs> Frank's wife, Ludmilla, is not able to join us today either, but we appreciate their support. Next are Susan and A.J. Jakes from Stillwater. And next, from Tulsa, Jeff and Lynn Hilst. We also had an anonymous family join us as Cornerstone donors, and we honor their wish to be anonymous. Uh, and the Sunderland Foundation was another Cornerstone donor who was not able to join us today. Let's give the Cornerstone donors a great round of applause. These generous people are also joined by more than 330 donors who have given to the campaign, including several major gift donors. If you have given to the New Frontiers campaign and are here today, would you please stand so we can thank and recognize you for your investment. Thank you. It has been exciting to share the naming opportunities with donors and have them select a space where their name will be on display in the building. And for many, that has evolved into a way to create a family legacy or to honor a mentor or a loved one. And for some corporate supporters, like Farm Credit of Oklahoma, I know they're excited about their name being in front of students as potential employees and customers. In fact, as you enter the main entrance of the new building, the first thing you'll see on the right is a conference room uh, with the Farm Credit Associations of Oklahoma uh, name on it. If you have questions or want to learn more, please refer to the website and the QR code on your program, uh, or you can get in touch with any of our colleagues at the OSU Foundation. And now for the fun part, sort of adapted to uh, being in the McKnight Center, and I don't think anyone sent Ross the, the O-State TV link, so I think we're good. Um, now for the fun part, with the help of these Cornerstone donors, we're going to celebrate breaking ground on this project. All right, I'd like to thank everyone who has joined us, whether virtual or in person, to celebrate this historic day for OSU Agriculture. This concludes today's program. We invite you to join us in the lobby for some refreshments. I thought he was gonna hit me over the head with the shovel. <laughs> concludes today's program and we invite you to join us in the lobby for some refreshments and take a photo at our groundbreaking backdrop sets for set up for you in the lobby. Thanks again for joining us today. Travel safe and have a great day.